Hey guys, and welcome to another Minecraft coding tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to code a kill aura. And I'm going to ask you guys nicely, if you put this in your client, can you please give me credit? Because this is a no cheat plus bypass and took me a while to code. So, yeah. Just, just want to open up um, entity client player MP, and you're gonna have to type this out. Sorry about that, because I assume some of you want to learn. So I have so many kill ors I can't even remember. Yep, yeah, okay, so it's just the normal one. Alright, yep, yeah, right here, so... You want to type in public void kill. You also want to make a new int named hit delay. Then you want to do hit delay plus plus if hit delay is greater than timer delay dot next int plus three. Then a for int i equals zero. I is greater than mc dot the world dot loaded entity list dot size i plus plus. Entity e actually I'm gonna put this in the description on second thought because this is a lot. Um entity mc dot the world dot get loaded entity list dot get i if e dot instance of entity player if e doesn't equal mc dot the player and if you don't have this you can if you don't have a friends list you can just comment this out but i do so i'm going to leave that there and then and then mc dot ent can entity be seen this is sq entity E is greater than 25D, and then E instance of entity living. Hit delay plus plus. If hit delay equals 6, or is uh, greater than or equal to 6, double D equals E, which we declared as entity, dot position X, minus position X, and then make some more doubles doing the same thing, but with all the other positions. And then double D3 equals math helper dot SQRT underscore double. D times D plus D2 pl times D2. Float F equals uh, add the cast of float. Math dot A tan 2 D2 D times 180D slash math dot PI minus 50 or 90F. Float F1 equals float and it's just pretty much the same thing but you're changing a few numbers and you're not minusing the 90 and then double stance equals mc dot the player dot bounding box dot min y mc dot the player dot on ground question mark is this is a smaller else statement so question mark 0 0.0001 d um whatever the hell that's called 0, 0.0 D and then send Q add to send Q new packet 13 player look move MC dot the player dot pose X stance MC dot the player dot position Y MC dot the player dot position Z F F1 uh, you guys don't need this right here you just want to put on ground because I have a criticals in my client then you want to do mc dot the player dot swing item send Q add to send Q new packet 7 use entity E dot entity ID, E dot entity ID, one. 
and then you want to come up to here let me fix that up here on on update and then this is not mine if you've seen this anywhere by the way I was too lazy to do that um but you want to do if main dot aura then you want to activate the void so kill you can do whatever so just it's all it's doing is just calling the void so now if I load up the game I'm recording right yeah okay I would have been pissed if I wasn't um log in Uh, let's see how many people are on right now. I forgot about I did that. That was my failed attempt at doing a um a tutorial for a clickable GUI. Cause whenever I want to do something, I mean, I could do this, but I can't do a normal clickable GUI, and I don't really want to do a draggable. So I'm just gonna go to spawn and. Just turn on tracers. No one? Alright, whatever. Well, you can see if I just hit my kill or toggle. See, it hits really fast, and yes, this does bypass. Uh, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and next video will be something. Probably a. Um. I don't know. You'll have to you'll have to tune in to find out. Um rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you later, Burr.